What's going on ladies and gents, Joe G at Elite Health and Physique. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through a quick and effective back routine using bands only. So if you work out only at home, you know it can be tough because there's only so much variety that you can get out of a set of dumbbells and a pull-up bar. So what can you do, right? What are your options? So many people do find success using bands, but there are a few things you need to be aware of before you go out and buy and implement a band workout to make sure you're maximizing your intensity and effectively building muscle. So I'm gonna tell you what you need to be aware of and then I'm gonna show you a quick and effective back routine that you can use to make sure you're making progress while we're outside of the gym. And don't forget, if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. So if you're looking to add variety at home when you're working out, the best thing that you can do is add resistance bands into your routine. And you wanna make sure that you have the following things. One, you wanna make sure that you pick the proper resistance for your current level of strength because if you pick a resistance band that's too heavy or too light, you may have issues engaging the muscle properly and as a result, your results may suffer. And secondly, now that you have the resistance out of the way, you wanna make sure that you have a proper anchor to place the band around that will support your weight and it'll safely allow you to perform the exercise. So we're talking maybe your door frame, um, sometimes your feet, or you can even use a pole that you have in your house or outside, like we're gonna do today in this video. And thirdly, any good band workout should allow you to vary the tension on the muscle because we're not in the gym and we're not able to overload the muscle. So therefore, it's even more important that we keep tension on the muscle to affect work the muscle and make sure we're still breaking down the muscle fibers and we're making progress while we're away from the gym and then fourth lastly but not least is and this is a kicker uh, if you buy bands you really want to try to get some bands that have handles on the end because the handles allow you to, to work different angles and they give you a lot more variety now although you can still if you get a, a uh, if you get a band that doesn't have any handles on the end you can still tie the ends and you can still find a way to make uh, some makeshift handles, but the ones with the handles allow a lot more variety. Um, however, there's one caveat, they do make uh, bands that are very, very strong um, that don't have handles on them. Um, and we're gonna use those today um, in this example because I need a little more tension uh, in my workout when I'm away from the gym. And so that's why it's important for you to pick the right one before you get started. But enough talking, we're gonna get into the workout right now, but I just wanted to share with you those four tips to make sure while you're away from the gym, these next four, six to eight weeks, whatever it may be, be in these crazy times um, that you're able to effectively work the muscles and still get the result that you're looking for. All right, so enough talking. I'm going to get into the, the exercises right now, and then hopefully you enjoy this routine, and I'll see you guys at the end.
right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe, like, share with anybody who you think may benefit uh, from it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.